So what does that mean? Well, in the Senate, we no longer have 60 votes. Some would argue that we never had 60 because one of those was Joseph Lieberman. But that's whatever. Um, yeah, and Nelson, too, but really Lieberman. Um, so, so now there's, um, I think as the president so eloquently said on Wednesday, there's none of this pressure, this false pressure to get to 60. So what that means is that um, the Democrats um, can stop um, kowtowing to Joe Lieberman and instead seek other avenues to move forward with health reform. And so it's likely that the Senate will move forward with a process called reconciliation, which takes only 51 votes. And by the way, it's not unusual. You may recall that before the Democrats took the Senate in 2008, that the Republicans controlled the Senate for quite some time, in fact, since around 1994. They never had 60 votes, and they managed to do a lot of really bad things during that time. So the reconciliation process is still quite available, and we will use it for good rather than for evil. Um, so, 